they find. You can play with the, the football or a soccer ball, Luckily whatever you want to call it. And they, they, they play pretty much with, with, uh, with anything they find lying on the ground, especially for, for this size of the, um, of the li lines. And yeah, Sharon, um, sorry, <laughs> just like things are happening at uh, almost the same time while I was trying to, to address your question. That this is how the, the lionesses uh, get rid of the youngsters. This is, this is why they are on their own. Um, I'm not too sure if, uh, if, if these youngsters are completely independent um, from now on. And as we saw them with the, with the other lioness the, uh, um, the other day. And uh, I think they, they might be getting into, um, into the stage where the, where the mother um, will be getting rid of them soon. Just like with the um, uh, mission and, and, uh, um, and, and dinner. So the mother will be will be getting rid of them soon, probably the next two or three months or so, or longer than that, perhaps. So, but I do not think this, this, these youngsters will be able to survive on their own at this age. So it is just very complicated what is happening with the stick spide and, and Mapochos at the moment is, a, as I had a very um, long. Check uh, about the the conflict between the sticks part and the Mapochos. So maybe they're just on the uh, um, on the try out. See, see if they can be able to survive um, on their own without the maddies. But uh, what I have seen with the lines um, in the Krugan, it was a very big part of lines that 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 had eight sub adults and they they got rid of them and within a few months and the those youngsters were not doing well in terms of hunting and they and uh, they were very very skinny and and then they returned to to the adults and they stay with them for a while and then they, they kill something for them they eat and then and then, and then they uh, they re recovered um, from uh, from the starvations and but eventually the uh, um, they get rid of them and then they never return to, to the parents because and then, and then by that by then they were old enough and experienced enough to to be able to survive on their own. So yeah, they, it is just very uh, di um, uh, difficult to to actually understand the animals' behavior. Sometimes we think we know much about their behavior, but not really, uh, not to the extent. So it sometimes it's it's vice versa. Vice. So yeah, they, they might want to try out. So if, if, they, if, they, if they do survive, and, then, and, and they, they will eventually form their own part. But I doubt that that the that the that I that they will they will be independent anytime soon. These youngsters, but generally the lions um, abandon the um, uh, the youngsters at the age of about two and a half years to three years old. And I don't think this these youngsters are. Mm -hmm. Anywhere closer to, to two and a half years old by now, unless if the Mapochos are forcing them to come to Istras, which which I've also seen that in, yeah. in the in the Sabi Saint where the uh, uh, the the lionesses Changing batteries, I'll be 30 seconds. I'll be great. Okay, we're just going to be changing batteries quickly, folks. We won't be long at all. Just let me know when you go to Gari.
<laughs> and she cut the gari, huh? She said the Okay, thanks for coming back. Um, if you have any questions, just send them to, to Final Control Safari TV. And we are streaming live to the world um, from the from Juma Game from Juma Game Reserve. Uh, but a very some talking as I was saying, and uh, I've seen the lionesses that had between five and six months old calves, and at the the new um, collision of male lions um, um, move into into territory, and they, they, they kick the resident males out of the territory, and uh, and what what the lionesses do, and they. They kept the cubs away from um, from um, from this new um, collision of lines, and the first day they kept them, they were probably about 150 meters apart, and uh, and they made a kill, and just before they made the kill, and they and they they um, entered. Into fall estrus, which is way trying to fool the um, to fool the new collision of, of lines. So they, they entered into into false estrus. They made it with them for the first day, and on the second day they killed the kudu, and uh, and they, they fed on the kudu, and they did they did didn't make make any attempt to to return um, and feed the cubs. They stayed there because otherwise, if they'd done. So and then the um, those new lines and will have um, um, pick up the the cubs and, and kill them. So they stayed at the at the, at the curl and they the fear of the curl finished and then the, and then they were mating at the same time. And I remember when when when, when the lionesses um, came into the false estrus they don't conceive it all because they're not that is not a true estrus obviously. And. Uh, and on the fourth day, and they move further away from the cubs, and then they made another kill. Um, unfortunately, and and they had to stay at the kill, and for 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 uh, uh, for fifth day, and the sixth day, and the seventh day, and on the eighth day, they made another kill. We were very successful, I must say. I'm not exaggerating, guys. This is a true story that happened in the southern part of the South descent. They made another kill, and again they f they fed off that kill until the day of 11th, and the cubs were just left on their own. As I said, none of the lionesses made an attempt to, to go back to the to the cubs and and fed them, and and on on the on the on the day 11, and two cubs died of starvation eventually, and the the, the male fin finished matching with them, and the they, they they moved off and and they and they returned to the cups on the on the day 12 and they obviously found the two cups were already uh, um, dead and 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 uh, it was how many cups let me just think of number of cups it was 14 or 14 or 15 cups and but the the rest of the cups survived fortunately so that was pretty cool. So um, the point I'm trying to to make here, because as I said uh, for the last uh, couple of days on, on my drive, that uh, I'm not too sure. I mean, I'm, I'm completely uh, what's the word? Uh, unsure what is what is happening between the six pride and and the purpose. I mean, at, but at one stage I've I've heard that. That's, that's the that the the stick spot uh, youngsters 
have been fathered by the Mapochos. I'm not too sure if it was Skinky Cell or Metiti or the, or the other four um, male lines. And, uh, and what what may be happening, it's, it's, this is an, um, also my uh, personal op opinion, that what, what may be happening, the, the Mapochos are probably forcing the sticks prior to coming to Eastras, which, which uh, that's also possible. And I've seen that um, the, uh, the male lines wanting to, to, um, to